Where do I start? Cristiano Ronaldo. Listen, you know what? I'm not even because I'm not even speaking to no one. As you can see, I'm here, I'm right here by myself. Let me just sit here. Let me just sit here and look at you guys. Listen, Cristiano Ronaldo, man. I I as a as a young you, I use my favorite player at Manchester United. One of the reasons why I supported the club and loved the club, and then I developed my love for the club as a whole. Developed my knowledge as a Manchester United fan, and you are going to do this. After wearing a number 7 shirt, after all Sir Alex did for you, after all everybody did for you at Manchester United, you are going to do this to the fans, you are going to do this to your former teammates, you are going to do this to the one man that has looked after you your whole life and supported you, Sir Alex Ferguson, one of the best managers of all time, that man, has, he, he would go to the ends of the earth for you. You came to Manchester United as a little you. And you left as a man, I accept that. You did the work, you put it in. But how and why would you do this? Please, please tell me there's some, there's some twist in the turns, like you're coming back to us or something like that. What is going on? Please tell me you are not going to Manchester City because I swear, I swear, I swear if that happens, I, I, I don't know what I'll do. I, 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 people, I don't know what I'll do. What the hell is this transfer window? We got Mbappe going to Real Madrid. We got <laughs> Messi go P PSG. Holy things going in. And this is this is just not right. This is just not right. This is uh This is just not. Oh, I don't understand. No, right now, I I, I don't know people. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know people, this is, this is, a, this just, it doesn't sit right with me, it does not sit right with me because I just, I can't help but think man, why, why Cristiano, why are you doing this to us as a fan base, we love you, we love you as a player, we accepted you, I just, I, I, I'm here sitting by myself because I just had to record something cause I, I, I just don't understand. I, I don't understand. Hey, what are you doing here, man? I, it's our day off and I'm hearing a whole heap of noise. Listen, just come here and talk about Ronaldo. You see why, Guan? Jeez, all right, all man. Right. I'll, I'll pick it up from where you left off. Hold on. <sighs> because I kind of heard what you were saying, man. So, listen, what's good, everybody? You know what it is, man. See him in the cut. How you liking that, though? But, you know, you know, let's, let's get serious, people. I'm here to be real. Whether Ronaldo goes there or not, at this point, we all know that he at least is considering the option. Because he's already made it clear that he's leaving Juve, right? And who else is trying to buy him right now? Nobody. <laughs> I mean... The reason why, as fans, we feel so betrayed is because that that man gave us years to rejoice about, and he also has a special connection with our greatest manager of all time, the greatest manager of all time, Sir Alex Ferguson. I do believe that as a legend of the club, there are things you don't do, like play for Liverpool, or Manchester City who have established themselves as more than noisy neighbours in recent years but as fans also we have to recognise where the game is going when I was younger I had a fire in my stomach like no other I still do today when getting it, you know the excitement of watching football but something has changed over the years <laughs> Something that ultimately will continue to develop and fans will not like it. Unfortunately, traditional fans to the elite, clubs of the world are not the priority anymore. They are just used to strengthen those clubs, you know, the positions of those clubs financially. Money, money, money. 
The Super League gave us a huge clue to that and football will not sway away from that direction. Maybe the Super League may not work out, but something similar to that will happen in the future, especially in this rate. For the most of, you know, for most of the superstar players in the world of football, it's about how much money they can earn, how much fans they can get, and where they can win the most trophies now. Some players don't even care about the trophies once they're getting paid. I mean, come on. You know, with Ronaldo, you know that he wants to win. But it is it was always a question of at what cost. You know? I think with this move in particular, he has shown a true desperation to not just win trophies but to continue competing with Lionel Messi who has also moved to another high profile team that are at the top of the world pyramid at this moment of time yeah it's just a shame to see Cristiano take that route considering everything that he has done at Man United everything that Man United has done for him the way the fans have continued to support him even at Real Madrid support his success root for him you know what I mean when people are comparing him to Messi and all that kind of stuff you know fans are defending him and and and, and you know giving him the best case possible to show why he is the best player in the world and and all of that to be said this could be a real thing well it is a real thing <laughs> yeah you know, as of right now cool. the deal is not done and we only know as much as we're told but if it does happen then damn just know mr ronaldo your manchester united legacy will be tainted like milk that's been sitting in the fridge for a whole month. Nobody's touching it. Nobody's touching it at all. Yeah? Nobody. It will never be the same. So, to my Man United fans, yeah. If you see this still go true, if you see the team go true, November 6th. November the 6th. Write it in your calendar. We're going to war in a bit, peeps. Subscribe, no man.